What's going on, guys? Fortnite server's down again for the third day in a row. Oh, I knocked him down. It's apparently some bugs with this new update that involved, like, some bug fixes in oh my the shopping cart and stuff. But I'm going to read you the you statement that they have uh, released this morning to let us know. Hi, everybody. We wanted to give you a heads up that we are planning another maintenance window tomorrow, which is today, June 1st. During this time, matchmaking will be unavailable for <laughs> Fortnite Battle Royale. This will be the third day in a row that we've had a scheduled oh, maintenance window. Oh, I can't explain. We mentioned back in February scaling the back end Mango oh. DP database that we use for much of our account and matchmaking system has been a challenge. Oh, yeah. We've made a ton of progress really and our database has never shop, been so. in a better place That's than it is right this. now. But we knew that it wasn't the right fit to handle our continued growth in new types of LTMs. The Playground oh, LTM V1, for oh, example, has a fun. maximum of four players per game. Which means yeah, we'll need a lot more game instances, instances in matchmaking sessions to support that mode than we do a mode like Battle Royale that can support up to 100 players per oh instance. My God. Your Over the last couple of days, we've been working on rolling out a brand new horizontally scalable session tracking service to manage sessions for matchmaking. Despite extensive testing over the last few weeks, we ran into some problems when we attempted to put it into production. First, we ran into an issue with the way the system handled the case of many thousands of empty game servers just waiting for people to drop at Tilted. That caused a lot more data to be returned by queries to the service than we expected. We solved that problem and tried to deploy again this morning, and while performance looked good, we ran into a problem with the way our dedicated server auto-scaling systems interacted with the session tracker that required us to revert to the previous system again. We'd like to offer a huge thank you to the community for being so patient when we've had to take maintenance windows. We know you'd rather be playing and we really appreciate all the support. We're looking forward to seeing you continue to surprise us with your creativity and playground soon. Thanks, Mark Imbrigo. Imbriaco. Hope I said that right. He's the technical director of operations and reliability. So yeah, there you have it. So they're just trying to they're better trying to better the system is what they're trying to do. And you can't blame them for it. I mean as a gaming community, that's all we always cry about is how our systems are... They gotta be better, they gotta be better. It's 2018, things should be better. Well... Really? It's a video game. Yay! They're constantly working on it to get, make it better, it's their job. So, oh, I deal with it, right? Anyways, right. that's all I got nice today. To Stay tuned on Tuesday for the Chronicles of the No Skinner. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new, and we will see you guys on the next one.